is always uh, our uh, communication to this uh, to bus industry is our commitment, long term commitment towards making air conditioned travel affordable for everybody. And for this, uh, we uh, we are investing a lot in backward and forward indication. When I say backward forward, it is uh, not only designing uh, for Indian condition or hot climate, but manufacturing it at uh, optimized cost by bringing in a scale, uh, lot of uh, backward integration of at component level. Also, uh, supporting the product by starting Transnational Academy, where we are going to nurture uh, trained uh, technicians, engineers every year. We have a target of producing 100 technicians every year and uh, they will be fully equipped to face any challenges in this industry. So, this is going to be our major contribution to the industry. See, this year we had seen a very severe heat wave across North India. Not only North India, other parts also. In Delhi, temperature is 52 degrees Celsius. And we are very uh, proud that our ACs performed very well under those conditions. So everybody is now talking about those things that uh, uh, with this uh, climate change, uh, con temperature rising year on year, how, how are we going to cope, cope up with it? So uh, fortunately, whenever we designed these ACs, we had kept these things in mind, that climate condition, because we, we are uh, catering to Middle East countries where temperature is above 50 every year. So these are already designed and uh, similar conditions we are now facing here. So customers are very, uh, uh, especially in Delhi area, they, they, they are very uh, uh, know, uh, much concerned for this uh, hot ambient conditions where uh, uh, not only AC but BTMS, they were facing problem in BTMS because uh, battery temperature rising, compromising the life of battery, performance of battery. So there again, we have been uh, working on BTMS. So we have given a lot of solution for uh, BTMS, for traction motor cooling in EV. So uh, the idea is to uh, you know, give a solution which works in uh, this for difficult conditions. Our product range, it starts from a very small vehicle, uh, uh, like a in refrigeration segment from a three-wheeler to 40-feet trailer. So, you know, we developed the electric refrigeration system for three-wheelers, which is now very popular. And same way, uh, now we have uh, developed electric refrigeration system for uh, four-wheelers uh, with uh, ECA and OSM. And they, we are talking to many other OEMs also. So one is truck refrigeration segment, uh, complete range, same way in bus also we have uh, you know, starting from uh, force motor uh, small vehicle to uh, 15 meter buses and uh, so now we have also entered into railway, rail coach air conditioning, rail cabin air conditioning. So this year, we, uh, last year we started and we, uh, are, uh, we have already received a good order for uh, locomotive air conditioners and our passenger coach uh, is under testing. So uh, one is this and then we have also diversified into defense application where we are working with uh, many OEMs to provide HVAC solution for defense application. You see, per uh, performance, efficiency, these, these two things has been always our major focus area. And we have, uh, you see, we have shifted to a new factory. Uh, the old factory uh, is converted fully to new product development and testing. So, and uh, the psychrometric lab has been upgraded. It is going to be NABL accredited. So, uh, when we design, we can ensure the performance, the efficiency can be measured there in our labs. And also, we do a lot of uh, uh, durability tests at component level. So the testing validation system has been uh, developed and it has been made so rugged that you know, we can meet any demand and we are setting always benchmark for others to 
copy and uh, learn from that. See, value engineering is uh, one is we have very wide product range. So we always have a product suitable for that particular application. We don't, we are not sitting with one product and saying that, okay, this, uh, it can be right for that uh, application or it can be sometimes under capacity, sometimes over capacity. So, uh, but the, the kind of range we have, so with that range, we can give optimum solution to every requirement. We hold almost close to uh, slightly above 50% market share in this bus industry. And uh, our uh, focus, uh, no, our endeavor is to maintain this or make it better. So for, for that, you know, we have uh, expanded our manufacturing base. Uh, one is Rajasthan. Second, we have started in Bangalore. And one uh, assembly line we have started in Russell Kema in UAE. So with these three units, you know, uh, we can meet any requirement. Uh, and also we have left uh, enough space for future growth in our current facilities. The yeah, refrigerated truck, uh, uh, we have uh, been uh, working on refrigerated truck since last almost 20 years. And uh, we have very good product range for last mile distribution. And we are uh, very much bullish about EV in last mile distribution. So that is going to uh, pick up very well. Unfortunately, now the vehicle manufacturers, they don't have enough capacity to meet the demand. So, uh, refrigerated segment in EV is not uh, getting that much focus, but I'm sure once the capacity of other, you know, all these OEMs improves, there will be a lot of uh, demand in uh, refrigerated EV for last mile distribution. First of all, uh, we have to uh, focus on the COP of air conditioner that and that COP we can validate and uh, know, once we design the product we can actually test the COP that we have the facility so that you know, we can reduce uh, you know, power uh, energy requirement for these air conditioners and uh, with our R&D team we can uh, you know, we uh, always try to optimize the performance uh, so that is our uh, strength uh, for uh, and also the new refrigerants as uh, we also we are geared up for CO2 refrigerant uh, that, that can be also if the customer demands it can be provided.